guys, welcome back to another episode of Beauty Within. It's your true hosts, Felicia and Rowena. Today we have another episode exploring all about our favorite everyday skincare routine products as well as our hair care products because you guys really seem to enjoy delving into our stash of hair care. And it's funny because Rowena and I are polar opposites in terms of both skin and hair. Tell them a little bit more. <laughs> Dry, dehydrated everything. Yeah. To the point where it's oily and foul. It's just a little ball of grease. <laughs> yes. I'm an arancini ball. My insecurity back then was that it made my face look really round because it like sticks to your scalp. But actually, some of the products we're going to mention today give Rowena that effect, right? Sleek, and then for you, gives you that. Yes! Volume. <laughs> and this video is sponsored by Walmart because they just have a huge selection of everything, from K-Beauty to your drugstore brands, hair care, everything. And these products we've actually mentioned in multiple, multiple videos. So rest assured, everything that we review and talk about today is purely based on everything that we've And with all the products, we've actually spent over a thousand dollars by now, yes. like of our own money to try all the products. <laughs> yeah. So let's get into our skincare routine. Blim, yes. Blim, blim. All affordable. <laughs> Starting with the first and one of the most important steps, cleansing. Ding. So I have the rice foaming cleanser with micro ground rice powder from Nine Wishes. This is something we've talked about for a few years now. <laughs> yeah. I re-remember this after trying the Tatcha, their new rice oh. cleanser, and I put them side by side because it it's very, very similar and I think this is half the price. Mm. So when the Tatcha came, I was like, wait, I want to try this out because this is one of my like go-to favorites yeah. for like gentle physical exfoliation. Where it like almost melts because when push comes to shove, if you don't have the pretty penny to like fork out on a brand like Tatcha, this does everything and more for, yeah. you know, the price. It actually does. Like. I love how this has like a gummy texture yeah. that is slightly Boop, boop. I feel like that texture makes a cleanser Look at that. so luxurious. It holds its shape. Ooh! How far can you go? <laughs> I think this is the furthest any cleanser has gone for me. Yeah. Look at that. And again, the micro granules are so micro, like you can see the texture and you can feel it, but it's so fine mm. and it's so micro yeah. that it's barely there. And that's one of the reasons that you can use this one every day because not all scrubs you can use every day. You know, it comes down to how finely milled different scrubs are. It's very similar to me, like the fresh sugar scrub, very mm. different, but mm -hmm. that's also gentle enough to use yeah. every day. And I feel the fresh, the sugar is a bit more coarse, but it just dissolves really quickly. Yeah. Moving on to my favorite cleansers. I have one that kind of sits in between us both because Rowena also loves it as well. It's the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. And then I also have the Myzon Snail Repairing Foam Cleanser. Now this one is great because I just really love CeraVe. <laughs> like, it's your fallback go-to dependable trusty brand when all hell breaks loose, right? Like rash, itchiness, broken compromised skin barrier, whatever the reason, and it's affordable. And remember when we first used it, it was like applying a moisturizer to your skin. And I was just like, gonna ask you if it's yeah. that one, it is that it one. It is that one. <laughs> and it's a beautiful gel consistency that we really like yeah. that just kind of like perfect for dry cleansing because it's fragrance free, it's non-comedogenic, you know, it's formulated with the three essential ceramides that help to really restore and build your skin barrier. And I really love their moisturizers as well because it's also got niacinamide in it as well as hyaluronic acid. So it's kind of like the most gentle cleanse. It's not gonna take off makeup, so, you know, that aside, double cleansing, it does work. And then for the combination oily gals out there, not me. <laughs> <laughs> so this Myzon one we talked about in a, like several other videos. I really enjoy it because you only need the tiniest little, little pea size. Mm. And Myzon's a brand that I really have come to enjoy over the last one to two years because of their snail repairing line, which is so great for hyperpigmentation or acne marks because 
our girl Alicia also loves it and she has really dry, sensitive and eczema prone skin. Yeah. And she was sharing that all of a sudden she developed almost like adult acne and she didn't know what to do with it. And coupled with her eczema prone dry skin, she started using the snail mucin line and it completely like cleared up the inflammation and the flare ups. And yes, I can attest to that. I really do enjoy this formula because even though it's foam and it's designed for more oily, it leaves this like very supple, softened feeling on it the does. skin. It does. Yeah. And I think nail mucin in general as an nail. ingredient. Nail. <laughs> nail. Nail. My mucin. Ew. <laughs> it's like the gunk under my nails. <laughs> <laughs> because nail mucin in it. Snail. Nails. <laughs> you just said it twice actually. I have. Did I say nail you again? The nail scum. <laughs> <laughs> Good Nail mucin as an ingredient is actually great for people with all skin types. Mm -hmm. Dry, acne prone, sensitive, it's like across the board just like a very nourishing ingredient. Yeah. And because it is naturally high in glycolic and proteins, yes. and we know proteins are the building block of our skin barrier and all that good stuff, it's helpful, like anyone can benefit from this. Yeah, And seriously. as we always said, snails are not harmed in the process mm -hmm. of the, extracting the mucin. Yes. <laughs> And they have a very like characteristic they do goop as well. I will yeah, it's very similar to the one mm -hmm. that I'll show for my moisturize there. But it doesn't leave a slimy, sticky feeling that you would like associate with snail <laughs> gunk. <laughs> but it does definitely have like this very hydrating like elasticity to it, which then really helps with your skin in restoring hydration. Did you ever say this was stripping? No, but the pH of this one was nine, remember? Oh yeah. Which would have been like, what? But I think <laughs> because of the formulation, it restores everything back and it's like doing doing soft. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's like a plush pillow when you emulsify it. So just a tip if you do want to use this, it's uh, you only need a little bit, a little bit goes the longest way and I always find myself like reaching for this, especially in the hot, humid months. As a little bonus, I already mentioned this in I think our, a previous video, this one, the Make Prem Wonderful Me In Shower Face Pack. This is something a bit new. Yes, and it was so exciting that Walmart also had it yeah. because Make Prem is a brand that we absolutely love. You know how much I love their Micro Tension Me Hydrate Cream? Mm. Oh, so good, but not now because it's really hot and humid, mm. so it's a bit too thick. But for this, I think this type of shower wash off masks, mm. it's not as common. Or this is yeah. probably one of the first ones I came across. What I like to do is I like to wash my face with a fresh strawberry sugar mm. cleanser to gently exfoliate and then I'll put this on mm -hmm. before I do anything else and I'll just leave this on for the duration of my shower, so like 10, 20 minutes. The ingredients are actually activated by like the steam and by the heat when you're in the shower and in here there's like uh, so many very skin nourishing ingredients and there's like ceramides, there's squalane, there's hyaluronic acid, there's Nordic berries. Mm. It's kind of like a sauna spa in your yeah. shower. Yeah, and nice. then it's kind of like a sheet mask in the shower as as well. You know the interesting thing about this, so I used it when I was staying with Rowena for a couple days and it was interesting that you would think the gel would wash off, yeah. but it stays on it your stays face on very until nicely. you wash it off. Yeah. And then you come out of the shower and it's like nice and plump because all your pores have been like, you know, opened through heat and <laughs> yeah, it's just really nourishing. That was all your skin cells being excited. <laughs> It does have like a very slight florally, I think like, it kind of smells like tea. True, sweet tea. Mmm. Yeah. Florally sweet tea. Yeah. Yeah. Toning. Tony. Toning. May Coop raw sauce, 100% maple water. I remember when we first came across this, which was literally like two, three years ago. When we first started Beauty With It. Yeah. I think this was the very first skincare item that combined to me the toning serum and like essence step all in one. Maple water is naturally high in vitamins, minerals, amino acids, a, a lot of things that are very, very good for our skin. This is great for streamlining your routine. It's kind of like my toning essence serum step. Mm. So after this, I'll just go into a moisturizer and SPF in the morning. If I'm gonna go Especially in the summer. Yeah. To me, it's kind of like the Laneige cream skin. It just lumps yeah. everything together. It does. I would say it's not as hydrating for me, mm. but it's 
a lot in one bottle. Mm -hmm. So ingredient callouts for this, there is perfume if you're sensitive to that, and alcohol is the second ingredient. But we've learned over time that if alcohol is that high up on the list is because of penetration purposes, it helps all the other ingredients just really sink and get into your skin a lot better. But if you're sensitive to alcohol, then not the best for you. Mm -hmm. So that's a streamline all in one. I have a couple for you acne folks and they're mainly these two, but there's also this Claire's that we've mentioned a really long time, but I think this is a really great toner for hydration because it's also got Centella Asiatica and licorice root extract, which is for subtle brightening purposes and is really great for acne prone or hyperpigmentation. I remember this being a bit more goopy. Yes, because it's got natto gum. Ah. Yeah, so we also love a brand called called Wamisa, and Wamisa has the Natto Gum Water Cream, which we're like, wow, wow. I just suggest no one eat Natto Gum because that stuff is it's funky. It's so good for you though. It's oh, an acquired yeah. taste. It is. If you, you eat it with it soy sauce and sesame, it's actually really good. Is it now? It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely is an acquired taste. Yeah. Oh my god, one time I was eating with Eric, my cousin, and he didn't know he had an allergy to it, and then right in the middle of dinner, his whole body broke out in like hives. Anyway, so this is a really great like everyday toner for hydration purposes. And then for the more acne, there's the Peter Thomas Roth HA BHA Acne Clearing Gel. Now this one, like a lot of Peter Thomas Roth products, is very potent and effective. It's definitely for people who know that they can stand, you know, these chemical exfoliants. There's 10% glycolic acid in this, which really does the job of unsticking, you know, that dead skin that's stuck with sebum and bacteria that could be causing breakouts. And it's obviously also got the salicylic acid, which goes deeper down into your pores and breaks up the sebum. So when they're formulated together, I find it's like really effective. Definitely not an everyday thing. But this says that you can apply it over the problematic areas one to three times a day. Yes, as a clearing gel. So when I use it, it's normally when it's like hormonal um, and I'll just put it down in this lower region and over like three days, it will clear up. <laughs> Let me tell you, it will clear up. But to offset the fact that it is quite potent, there's also aloe vera and licorice root extract as well to really just like replenish the skin. So very good for people facing active breakouts. And then maybe you're done with the clearing of the breakouts and you're left with hyperpigmentation, acne marks. This is another Myzon great product. It's their Ample, and the reason I love this, if you like have a little bit on your hand, it's stringy, but it's like water. Oh, and it's got that sticky thing. <laughs> it's not sticky, it's just like stretchy. It's just stringy, yeah. yeah. I like it. It's very quick to absorb into your skin. Yeah. How does this pair well? Like let's say if you do use a toner or essence, does it make it? Sticky? Yeah, or like turn colors. No, surprisingly no. And it's just crazy how it applies and then you blend it in and it's like so thin. It is. Yeah. It's gone. Mm -hmm. And this one contains 80% of that snail secretion, which is, you know, packed with proteins and all the stuff that we love for skin repairing. Moisturizer? Moisturizer! Moisturizer. I feel like this video should be dedicated to the snails. <laughs> because this is the Cosrx Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. So in here, there's 92% snail secretion filtrate, which is snail mucin. That's a pretty high of a percentage. Dude, who even knew that we were gonna talk this much about <laughs> snails? Like, when we rounded up our products, we didn't it know. It just happened that there's just snails everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> just snail in general as an ingredient. If Belle hasn't sold you on it yet, Now's the time. <laughs> Third time lucky. Yeah. <laughs> and in here, there's also a bunch of very hydrating ingredients like hyaluronic acid. And there's also pentanol. So just- And allantoin. Yeah. For soothing. Yes. And the texture is interesting. Is it also sticky, stretchy? Look at this. Whoa! Here, just take a, take a little. Dab -a -dab. I think this clocks in as the most like snail mucin-y. Yeah, so the only thing that I'm like eh about this and that most people are unhappy with is that it comes in a jar. 
True. And that you have to, especially with something like this, if you dig into it, it just like you bring everything out and you have to, just in general, yeah. you know, jars are not as, they're just not as user friendly. Yeah. Oh my gosh, but it's so light. But it's it so, goes it reminds me, it, it blends in like the ample. It, that's how lightweight it is, but it's still hydrating enough, especially for humid, hotter months right now. And again, with Causer X, no fragrance, no like extra frills. Okay, so moving on to one of the best finds that I feel like we came across with Walmart. It's the Earth to Skin brand. The Glow Recipe dupe? <laughs> yeah, kind of, because all of their um, ingredients are very focused on fruits as well. The thing is, there's so many products we try, we like lose sight of a lot of them, right? But this, oh, I actually come back to. Oh. Because it's the like water. Consistency. Yes, it's a water cream, and it smells herbal. It smells like manuka honey. Yes, like um, medicinal. It's like manuka. <clears throat> I love it. It's kind of like my grandma's cabinet of medicine cabinet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and the ingredients that it's formulated with. It also has honey extract as well as licorice root extract, which helps with inflammation and also subtle brightening. It's also got hyaluronic acid, mm. which is the humectant qualities to replenish hydration, store hydration. Love it. Love it. For sunscreen. <laughs> Pata -pata. <laughs> For sunscreen. You guys know this is a tried and true favorite. Neogen Daylight Protection Sunscreen SPF 50 PH++++. This is just, just in a league of its own. It makes you want to use sunscreen. Yeah, I think this one is a combination of physical and chemical because when you first put it on your face, it does leave a slight white film, but then as you work it into your skin, it just beautifully blends and it just disappears. This works good for your skin type too, right? Yeah. And your skin tone. It's like a glow, but not overly glowy and wet looking. Yeah, so I would say the most glow I get will be from Crave Beauties. Mm -hmm. And this is probably second to that. Mm -hmm. It's like a healthy glow. So this could be used actually as a moisturizer for more oily combo skin. And for me, like let's say if I'm already using a very streamlined routine, I could use a bit more hydration, bam. Beautiful. As you know, Love CeraVe, they have a day moisturizer with SPF 30. And that one also does leave kind of like a whitish thing. The tip is you just have to use a little bit, apply like half of what you actually have to apply and then layer on again because that white look doesn't stay. Yeah, it just kind of settles in. So don't be so quick to judge. Okay, moving on to the Lux. I feel like my face and my ethnicity isn't supposed to have hair this frizzy. Correct. So I think that was always, always like a thing that I struggle with mm. and like none of my friends really could relate to that. Mm. So I've tried many things. I've gone through at least like dozens of hair straighteners, mm. hundreds of different hair products to try to get my hair to be like that sleek, straight. To be obedient. Yes. Yeah. And this does that, this actually does that. Yeah, you were saying it was like a keratin treatment in a bottle. Yeah, it does remind me of like a Brazilian blowout or a keratin treatment mm -hmm. because one use does last three to four washes. That's what I don't get. How does that work? How keratin and Brazilian blowouts work is that they'll coat your hair in that, Yeah. they'll dry it, so it's heat activated. So the coating sticks onto your hair follicles. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm sliding down a pole or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it like it coats your hair follicles. The reason why our hair becomes frizzy, and like I've just done so much research on my own time from like middle school. Your hair follicles, it's like those Pantene Pro V commercials, they like fray out like this oh, along yeah, your hair. Cool. Yeah, so they fray out, which is what makes it frizzy. Mm. What this does is that it keeps your hair shaft really straight mm. and it prevents your hair follicles from fraying. We will show you you guys how we use both of this at home. Good evening! <laughs> now we're going to show you with our wet damp fresh out of the shower hair how we style. Yes! <laughs> Dang look at that mane! <laughs> so fresh out of the shower your hair is how would you describe it? It's already straight it's like <laughs> it's already dry it's already straight and like the drier it gets the flatter it gets. Hence why this is the perfect time to boost this baby in wow, the Wow, we're literally complete opposites. Out of the shower, my hair is this like beautiful wavy beach texture. And if I crinkle it, it looks really, really nice. But this lasts a total of maybe like three minutes before I turn into Mufasa. <laughs> Let's work quickly. 
<laughs> so what we're gonna do is just show you half half so you can see the kind of like effects of what the styling products actually do. So I'm gonna use the raise the root lift thing, but also we both love the Tresume heat tamer. So if you guys are gonna be doing like any heat tools, which we do do, that we do do, do. like um, curling and blowing, must, must. Are you doing your left or right? My left. So the first thing I usually do is gently comb through my hair to get it not unknotted, basically. It's so funny because what we do is literally the opposite. I try to like rough it up and make it like get as much air in there as possible. <laughs> and then I start suctioning off my hair to start spraying this in every layer. When you coat it on, you need to heat activate it. It recommends you to use a round brush, to use tension to kind of blow it out. But because I just cannot blow dry my hair, blow out my I hair for the life and, of like, me. I think you and like 99% of people. It's so hard. I know the review views on this are like amazing. And this spray similarly, it does a lot, but it's also very lightweight. It's almost like you're spraying water on your hair. And I like running my fingers through to make sure it evenly distributes. And then the smell, I, I remember it smelling like something, but maybe because my hair is shorter now, I can't, I'm like, <laughs> I can't really smell it as much. Smell it! Amazing. Amazing. Okay, well, from the same brand, but on the completely opposite end of the spectrum, I have the Raise the Root Thicken and Lift Spray. Ooh. You know, we should swap hair. We should. <laughs> no, I really think we should swap hairs. That would be nice <gasps> to just see what it's like. Oh my goodness. Okay, it says the cure for flat hair. And yes, it is. So I've also used a lot of thickening sprays, texturizing sprays in my life. And I really enjoy this one because it doesn't make it sticky. So I also use it on damp hair and I feel like that's the best way to instill volume um, and inject it at the early stages. You know, when your hair dries, it tends to stay the way that it dries. Okay, so mine is very simple. You also so just grab arbitrary pieces and spray this baby into the root because basically you just want it at the root and then I just kind of like work it through. So this side is clean. This side will be a parte. Nice. Six little sprays of this. Oh, it smells so good. I love this one because it's not crispy, it's not sticky, and it's very lightweight. So I'm gonna blow dry both sides and show you the difference. Are you gonna blow dry now? Yes, I'll blow dry this side first and the other side because my hair is a mess and it'll just <laughs> blend together if I did. <laughs> and what I love to do is when I dry my hair with the hair dryer, I tip it upside down Ooh. because when you let the hair like dry when it's going down, it adds body to it when you flip it back up. And if you do this without products like this, it just eventually goes, you know, over a couple of hours, it will be um, like dead again. With a product like this or even a mousse, a thickening mousse, it will stay that way. And then you wake up in the morning and it's like, So while row, does her other side, you can actually see that this side is like kind of nice and shiny and sleek, but it's also quite flat. And as the night progresses, this side will keep just kind of like flattening away. And then this side, you can tell, I did like exactly the same things to both sides, but it has more body. And when you kind of zhuzh it, you feel that it's more aerated, but it's also not sticky, which is like what I look for. So I'm done. And then Rowena keeps on blowing her hair. I could probably like eat a second dinner and you'll still be drying your hair. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. You ready for the big reveal? So this is the no color wow side. Oh my goodness. It's very fluff. You actually look like a small poodle. It's basically like a little poodle. So this is no product side. Oh you my goodness. 
Are you ready? So this side, I styled it the same way. I blew dry it roughly, and then I used this one. I just blew it out a little to kind of give it a bit of friction. Did that on both sides. And this one, look at that. This one's very smooth. And then this one is just like very, like a bit coarse and fluffy. Oh my God, it's like almost half yeah. the size. And it feels smoother, it looks shinier. Okay, and then what do you do? I will leave it in that little bun for a bit longer so that I get natural waves and then just leave it like that. So that is our hair. Okay, back to you guys in the studio. But before we depart our weekly question, What's something that inspired you or that you learned or impacted you this week? We probably had the busiest week we did the previous two weeks sure. with the launch of our online shop. And I think what kept me sane and like preppy and happy and full of energy now, even though we had like one of the hardest weeks we've had in a really long time, is just gratitude. There's a quote that like when you are grateful, you can't feel any other negative feelings, mm. like fear or like anxiety or any of those things. So I think when you're really grateful, I think for me, it's like for like our channel, for you, for us to be able to do everything that we've been able to do, no matter how tired I am going home, no matter how late it is when we head out of the no. office. It's so simple, but so powerful. Founding. Yeah. What about you? Okay, so what I learned, kind of similar to that, I guess, is just putting things in perspective. So I think one thing to really ease any tension or any like insecurity or anything that you're like battling in your mind is to just put less emphasis on yourself you know, like your problems. Because your problems are like the biggest thing to you in your own little bubble, but like out of that, <laughs> I mean, it's harsh to say, but like we're not important, but we are at the same time, yeah. right? But if we can put less importance on certain things and realize that it's like, it'll just be whatever will be, will be. Um, yeah, perspective I think is very powerful. Reminds me of one of my favorite Chinese quotes, Tui bu hai kuo tian kong. If you take a step back, you'll find that the seas and the skies are boundless. And it's the same thing with problems. This is like an analogy that, that I love. If you view your problems as like a huge mountain, you'll never be able to cross this mountain, right, yeah. in your path. But if you view this problem as like a very, very small piece of rock on the ground, then you can easily like take a step over it. So it's all perspective. Yeah, it's a stepping stone. So anyway, with that, we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you again for Walmart for sponsoring the video and allowing us to share with you guys more of our favorite skincare brands and products. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Au revoir. So long, farewell. We're literally dressed like the people would be in Sound of Music. Yeah. And I just realized and learned recently that what I. <gasps> <laughs> that was a gasp for mankind. <laughs> what about you? Yeah.